welcome back to my channel so as you guys can tell I'm actually in my car right now I forgot to film an intro for my video for today so I'm just going to film it right now so if you guys want to see me basically show you guys how to get a green screen I've had had a couple people ask me how I got the yellow or the multicolor like tie dye um, green screen if you want to know how to do that um, I will show you guys so just keep on watching let's go Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to get a green screen background. Um, you're going to need a, you're going to need whatever color green screen you want. So if you want a yellow background, pink background, blue background, whatever. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use a pink. And I'm just going to drop it normally where I would drop it with my normal iMovie. And you can do this on your iPad, your iPhone, whatever you have. So just take a normal um back screen you can take a rivers um rainfalls different color backdrops whatever you want just put it where you normally put your video then you're going to click your video you're going to drag it on top of it so instead of adding it next to it you're going to drag it on top of it just like this and make sure you see a yellow line that means it is met it meets up at the beginning and then you guys see how when I click a different thing, it basically highlights everything in yellow. You're going to want to do this for your whole video. You're going to want to do this for the top of the video. So you're going to click the, this top part right here. Make sure it is highlighted. Then you're going to go up here. And you're going to click this um, two squared box. And when you click it, you guys see that this goes away. All these right here go away so you're gonna click that again and you want this you're gonna go find where it says cut away right here you're going to click that and you're gonna click a green slash blue blue screen so I'm just gonna show you guys how I did that one more time so how it is normal and take um, note that if you click this it's not going to bring up that little box that we want in the square. It's because you actually have to click the film of the video. Then you're going to go right here and you're going to click that again. Click cut away. Click green slash blue screen and you're going to click that. And there we have a different color screen. Now I'm going to show you guys. You guys can do this with all different back um, colors. I'm just going to show you guys. Oops. So I'm just going to shorten this, and I'm just going to show you guys a couple different colors of what you can do. It is all up to you. So this is with the different backdrops. So you can have pink, you can have yellow, and then you can have blue. You can do whatever you want. And this is another thing. You have to make sure your backdrop. So if you guys look on this video, let me undo this. Okay, if you guys look, I'm just going to full screen it. You guys look, you guys can see these creases right here, right here, right here. This was the first time me ever doing this. You want to make sure that your background is as smooth as possible. If your background is not as smooth as possible, I'm going to show you what can happen with that. So when I click the green slash blue screen, and remember you can do this with the green or blue screen. You can't really tell what happened with the yellow. Just because the yellow is such a bright color, it's going to hide any of those creases, anything you want. Um, but with the blue, you can't really tell. Um, but I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to full screen it. Um, maybe you guys can see with the yellow. I'm not for sure. But as you guys can see right here, you guys can see the creases and the fabric that I was using. So you want to make sure that the fabric is completely straight 100%. And also I want to show you guys this for the last part. Make sure your background covers this whole entire part. Because if you don't, watch this. 
it automatically goes to a black screen. And we don't want that black screen. I also want to show you guys what happened when I decided to take a ombre effect photo. So I thought it would be cool ombre. I just talk, typed in back drops. And you click that and you go to images. And let's full screen this. Um, let's do ombre. So let's say, for instance, we want to do this one. Then I would screenshot this. If you guys don't know how to screenshot, I will show you guys how to screenshot. You're just going to, if you guys have a MacBook, you're just going to go click Shift Control and then the letter or the number four. And then automatically, once you screenshot that, I'll show you guys. It is going to pop up right here. So now we can go and add, go to this, go to desktop, and there should be another one perfect just right here. And we can add this to the bottom. And you guys want to make sure, this is what I'm trying to point out to you guys. You want to make sure you crop it out well. Because if you guys don't crop it out, you guys are going to be able to see the white. You guys see the white right here? You're going to be able to see that, and you don't want to be able to see that, I would say. Um, so you just want to be careful. Some backdrops like this look really good. So that is the end of the video. Sorry if you got cut off a little bit. I accidentally ended it a little bit short, but I hope you guys understand how to do that. If you guys still have questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments section. I will answer those for you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.